Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I have a brand new video for you. This video is going to be about um, a dream, right? And I started up the dream series a while back, but this one really takes the cake. In fact, it just happened today, the day that I was recording this video. I'm going to set you guys up for everything. Uh, this is going to be a multi-part video because no way I could fit it all inside of one video and keep the audience retention that it deserves. So um, let's set you up with the dream. Uh, this was a mid-afternoon nap, right? This literally just happened today. So keep this time in mind. Um, it was 5.36. I had my laptop open and I could see like I have a screensaver that's a flip down clock. Um, it was 5.36 to 537 during those that flip animation my eyes were so heavy i just drifted away right i drifted away and and not really woke up per se but i woke up in the dream in a classroom and i had no sense of time um i really had no idea why i was there i just kind of woke up and i knew i was super tired and it was people that I've seen before inside of classrooms, not necessarily my classmates, but um, people I, I know that I went to school with uh, previously or go to school with now, a good mixture, right? So I'm, I'm looking around and I'm, I'm asking like, guys, what, what time is it? And no one, no one tells me what time it is. I, I can't get a straight answer out of anyone. The only thing they can seem to do is ask me how their cartoon drawing is. Like everyone was coming up to me and like, oh, hey, Aaron, how's my cartoon drawing? I was like, that, that, that's cool, but I really need to know the time. And I, I, I also was asking during this time, how did I wake up here? Like how, when did I come here? How did I get here? Uh, and guys, just keep in mind, this dream is the only dream that I remember 100%. And I mean, it's a crazy dream. It's going to last over these two videos. And I have some more follow-up videos for you guys. But I, I hate to cut the story right in the middle. I just need to let you know at this point, right? So, no can give me the uh, straight answer for the time. Everyone just kept asking me about their drawings. And one thing to note, the teacher was not in the classroom. So, in my mind, I guess it was before class a little bit. So I, I thought to myself, like, why, why is everyone drawing these cartoons? You know, like, why is everyone showing me this? Why is this important? All I want to know is what time it is and if, if I should be here or not. And, and I was starting to freak out. I was like, man, where is my next class? Uh, I was just wondering. I literally was just wandering around the classroom, walking back and forth, trying to, like, pick up all my things, my book bag. And I, I looked at my class schedule printout that I had in my bag, and I was like, what? I'm I'm supposed to be in here. Like, oh yeah, today's Wednesday or something like that. And and everyone's like, yeah, yeah, you didn't know that? I was like, no, but why didn't you tell me when I was asking? And then again, no one gave me a straight answer. They were just all too concerned about their cartoon drawings. Right? And I I was I was in that classroom, right? Whenever I I was in there, I was wondering, I'm like, I'm supposed to be in here, and I'm looking around, I'm like, what do I need to do? And literally everyone in the classroom stopped what they were doing and just kind of turned around and looked at me. I was like, oh, Aaron, right? And I hate that. I, I don't like when that happens. But I, I heard that, and and no one, no one was giving me good answers. I was kind of freaking out, and I pulled out the paper, and I realized that I had homework due right before that class. And sure enough, what was the homework? To draw a cartoon and explain why you drew this cartoon. So I'm, I'm working on this cartoon, right? And, and actually, I drew Fry from Futurama. And I was like, I like the show, so I drew Fry from Futurama. And I, I was a little confused, right? I was, I was just trying to get everything done i'm like why didn't i do this why am i just waking up in this classroom everything was kind of falling on me and i was just full of questions and i think that helped towards the grand scheme of this dream and really setting it up the way it was so i was you know i was dead set to finishing that cartoon i started listening to music the weekend if you know i i, I remember the song i was listening to guys whenever i say i know 100 percent detail I know down to what I was wearing. I've never had a dream like this before, but um, I was listening to the weekend, right? And I, I 
completely got it done as soon as the teacher walked in. It was like, all right, class, time to present. So I'm like, Whew, okay, I'm glad I got this done. Uh, we're all presenting now. And the entire class went up and presented the cartoon, and I sat there through all of it, literally minute by minute that it took I was sitting there and I could feel this right and everyone was you know try uh, presenting and then they would instantly leave I was just trying to stay awake to wait until my turn to come up and and I kind of was nodding off in the back I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of par for the course <laughs> but I I kind of was in and out, in and out, and I had woken up, not really in real life, but in the dream, I woke up again, and no one was in there, the The teacher was not in there, nothing happened, the entire, the entire class was gone, and I'm looking around, I'm trying to find all my stuff, I'm like, wow, I slept through the rest of the class again, and then there was this girl that was in there, right, um, just out of nowhere, um, and I remember kind of her very well, she had, um, strawberry blonde hair if you guys understand what that is and she had really uh green greenish blue eyes I, I guess there's a color for that but and she was wearing all white and and she comes up to me and she told me to go home right now don't ask any questions just get in your car and drive home and of course I have questions. I, I'm like, well, why would I go home? It, it's right in the middle of the school day. And as soon as I looked up to ask her these questions, she was completely gone. I, I could not see her. She was quite literally nowhere to be found. The entire classroom was empty. So I was like, you know what? I will, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll just go home. I mean, she said to do it, might as well do it. And I you know, went into my car, I started plugging in my phone, cranking up some music, and I just, I back out, and I'm pulling through the parking lot, and I get up to the street, and I go up to the stop sign, and right at the stop sign, waiting for a car to pass, I felt extremely lightheaded, inside of the dream, of course, and, and I kind of passed out, and I woke up in reality, right, I like, I woke up, however, I was not really aware of, of where I was. I just kind of like opened my eyes and looked around and just instantly dropped back asleep, went straight back into that same situation. I kind of woke up back into the dream. And whenever I did that, right, I kind of got a sense of relativity. I I was like, hmm, I'm dreaming and and this isn't real. I've, I've been to school. This is not my school. I what's happening here it must be a dream and as soon as i came to that conclusion a truck hit me like a, it wasn't a bad bad like boom you know being knocked over it was just kind of like a little side swipe and i hop out of the car and i just know everything's going to be all right i'm like this is this is fake so uh bear with me i use my mind you know i'm i'm in a dream and i'm like okay this truck does not need to be here so I pushed it off of my car just by staring at it. And I stared at my car and I popped all of the dents back out. And and I was completely mindful. I, I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew who I was, where I was. I mean, I knew I was in a dream and I knew that I could control it. And that was the setup for part two. So hopefully you guys enjoyed part one. Part two will be coming out just as soon as this video is up. I think I'm going to give it uh, the maybe 10 minutes in between 10, 15 minutes. So you guys have time to view this video and then you can instantly go into part two. And there's going to be several partnering videos with this because this is the wildest thing that's ever happened to me. And I really want to get it in great detail on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the Patreon link in the description, become a Patreon. Many, many cool goodies that you can have from that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, make sure that you're looking out for part two. Once all of these videos are out, every single video will have part one, two, and all the extras inside of the description, so you can just quickly go back and forth. But like I said, hopefully you enjoy it. Peace.